Well, it is two in the morning. We just got back from Copeland last night, probably around eight or so, and we are exhausted, but Joel really thinks that we have a great chance of catching some Jew this morning. Is it evening? I, whatever. And uh, that's what we're gonna try to do. So we're gonna be throwing some big swim baits in the dark and see if we can hook up to some, some fish, man. There it is. <laughs> okay. And that right there is why we're on a ridiculous night mission at 2 a.m. in the morning. We just finished driving from Copeton last night, like four hours ago, and then we got back up and came out for this right here. Oh, nice, Jewy. Probably. I would say maybe like 28 inches long. Absolutely awesome fish, man. Awesome. I am starting to really fall in love with these guys right here. It's <sighs> crazy. Oh, another one. Are you kidding me? This one just kind of, I don't know if he even understands what's going on. All right, now he might have figured it out, maybe. Oh, wow. The head shakes on this are so ridiculous. I don't know if this fish is better, or if he just doesn't really understand what's going on. Freaking wow. Holy tank, dude. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that is insane. That fish is so solid. Look at that big old swim bait hanging out of his mouth. Oh, really cool that swim bait was actually given to me by Nick and Adam from Mega Bass at the Murray Cod Comp. So, thank you guys. Wow. That was a beautiful fish, man. These things are incredible. I bet he go 32 inches, which is like 85 centimeters, something like that, I believe. I reckon. Oh, what a stud. I mean, does this not look like just a sea trout, like a spotted sea trout without the spots and on just roids? Like this thing has just been doing steroids and lifting his whole entire life. What a freaking animal. God. So I'm thinking that right there is going to be the next go. That might help us target a bigger fish out of here. I mean, not to say that either of those fish were small by any means, but if there's like a, a meter sized fish here, he'll probably eat that. There we go. Where's that big fella? Where's the big fella? Oh, God! That might be him! That's him! Oh my God! I told you, dude, the big swim bait! Oh! Dude, that fish almost knocked me off my feet! Yeah. This is hard spot. I'm literally just gonna try to kind of stick it to him. I got that 80 pound cable working in my favor. Oh my god. That was, that was a nine inch swim bait. Dude, this fish has got freaking weight. I'm just. 40 yards, easy. And I was just 
goofing around being like, where's that big dog? Oh, if he could just run to the right, which I doubt he will though, because the current's pulling left. It's like, you know, sometimes you want to like revel in the fight. This isn't the moment you get to do that. Real big fish. Oh, all right. I think the worst of it is over now. I'm not kidding. I set the hook so hard into that fish, and it was so much heavier than I expected it to be. It knocked me off balance, and I almost slipped. <sighs> Easily, first run, 40 yards out. Cranked a little bit, made another 20 yard run. I am uh, pretty interested to see what this fish looks like. God, I love it. I love me some mull away. <laughs> He's holding down. I suppose that's a very good sign, right? Oh, heavy. This is heavy, brother. Oh my God. That is, that's, that's the damage. We have a new PB! I can go down for him. He, he should be so hooked so well. Holy beast. Good Lord, Joel. Oh my gosh. Oh. That fish is so effing heavy. Oh, I gotta reposition. Holy crap. It has to be 30 pounds. That's the most horrifying thing hearing a sound. Oh, that is a freaking monster. He is what you'd say that's probably a meter fish. Oh, he's all ever made up. Oh my gosh. So, for you guys back home, that's over 40 inches right there. What a freaking beast. And I don't think you guys understand the gravity of this is that people spend their whole lives over here in Australia trying to catch a meter long Jew fisher and mull away here. And I just happen to be fishing with probably one of the best Jew fishermen in the whole entire country, continent, whatever. I am very lucky right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you, Joel. He's good. Oh my god. That like scared me at how hard he just kicked off. Talk to me. Oh my god. Oh Joel, thank you, dude. <laughs> Holy crap. Like I don't think I, you guys I for my viewers back at home, I don't think you understand. Like to put it in perspective, that was a meter long fish. So like a 40 inch snook and some people spend their whole entire lives trying to catch a 40 inch snook but these fish are way harder to catch than snook way way harder i just happen to be with a guy who knows how to catch big giant ones i know that he doesn't care about this but i'll leave joel's instagram below if you want to see what like actually big ones look like because that's like that's a good fish but in joel's world he catches his fish like that pretty damn often and fish twice that size if you can imagine that I don't think my my heart can take tonight. I mean, two do that I was just like so stoked on, like probably a 28 inch and a 32 inch. And then that fish, we'll have to do the measurements back at home because Joel actually put a little mark on the rod. We measured them with the rod. I would bet that fish was 43 inches maybe. Uh, I reckon maybe like 108, 110 maybe. 108, okay, so that'd be like 41 inches. Yeah. Oh. Oh man. Well I done. Am, I You've done so speechless. well. That, You've done so well. That feels good to uh, have a very, very hard couple days last week and to wake up really early, even though I don't think either of us really wanted to, and to come out here and to stick a fish that not a lot of Americans will ever see, and not a lot of Americans will ever get to catch a big one. Not a lot of people in the world get to catch a big one. So I'm very, very grateful for that. Thank you, Joel. My pleasure, mate. Well done. Okay, um, 
It's terrifying. We had to take a moment and just kind of sit down, and we're going to let the bridge chill out for a second. And I think Joel and I have hugged like five times <laughs> since that fish was landed. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, people spend their whole life trying to catch that fish. It's so funny, too. I caught it on a bait that if you guys watch my videos, I never throw. This is a spool tech. I never throw these. And to be honest, I actually kind of don't like these lures very much because they're kind of pricey for a swim bait and they're easy to get snagged. Like I already lost one earlier this week, but um, it has entirely changed my mind because I don't know if I would have landed that fish otherwise at least it would have been touch and go but i was able to hammer them because the way spool tech works if you are an australian viewer which i showed a lot of the guys i've met over here how these things work this is not a sponsor by the way i don't know they have a leader system inside of them so when you set the hook that's an 80 pound cable that comes out and so because of that i really was confident in putting the hammer to that fish around some really really big and hard structure that uh, maybe otherwise I wouldn't have been able to stick them so hard. But that is, um, it, that's probably, I would say the biggest fish I've ever caught on a big swim bait, I think. That was unreal. I, I don't even, it's, it's like 3.30 in the morning right now. I have slept four hours. <laughs> it, it's just, I, I'm out of words. I'm like baffled. I'll make, it, I'll make it a whole sit down and talk because I, I can't elaborate about these fish. I need someone who can speak coherently. Oh, oh man, like I'm, that's the most nervous I've ever been without fighting a fish, I think. <laughs> We've worked so hard this week and um, yeah, to be rewarded like that is crazy. Like, you know, some people will never ever see a mulloway that big. Um, these guys are the epitome of a ghost of the estuary, like these guys to some don't even exist, they're just a myth. You know I've been doing this for a very long time and oh, I've been in some dark places chasing these fish, literally. Um, and to see Lorso get one like that, like, oh, yeah, it's, it's crazy and you know to share the, the whole subspecies thing in the same family with the redfish and you know the black drum and um, the Mulloway are the same family and you know, there's always that connection with me and Lorso to, um, to hook up and try and um, tick off a few species together. <laughs> this is two years, two trips to, um, to nail one that big. And um, I mean, he was easy, 30 pounds. He had you oh, in all sorts of trouble. Um, you know, not only do they look good, they're really hard to catch. They fight hard. I mean, there's, uh, there's such a special fish and yeah. To do that, I just can't believe it. Um, um, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> so stoked right now. <gasps> yeah. Up the top. Oh. He's a nice fish. He ate a surface lure. It's the news. Zerek awake. It's the first Jewfish on one in Australia, so that's pretty cool. Well, um, I think that'll do it. I mean, we probably fished for like 45 minutes and we caught four Mulloways, Jewies, Jewfish, whatever you want to call them. And I would have to say that's pretty impressive because last year when I came to Australia, I caught one over four nights of fishing for them, I think. We definitely, I shouldn't say we, Joel definitely tied the tides right and, um, absolutely epic i mean a fish that i've dreamed of catching for a long time and since last year when i came here and i've seen the photos that joel and kit catch of these just giant mull away and i'm like how do i get to be a part of that it's such a special thing to be able to share this fishery with joel and to share these fish in common like he was saying earlier that it may be across the whole entire world but they look like a sea trout in the body of a redfish and a black drum, but you fish for them like snook. And I think that's pretty special that two guys from literally across the world can come together and share a common interest catching giant fish. Oh, that was epic. I cannot thank Joel enough. I mean, absolute legend. He's put me and Chelsea up for the past few nights and then we went camping and it was just it's the greatest time ever. I love being here. But it's about 4.30 in the morning and in about two hours, I had to catch an airplane to Northern Australia. So we need to go back to the house, get packed and head to the airport.
We have made it safe and sound in North Queensland. Before we close out the video, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor today, Squarespace. Now, if you don't know what Squarespace is, it's a online platform where you can go and create a website and it has everything you could ever need. It has award-winning templates to make designing your own website easy. It has 24-7 customer support on the mobile app. You can manage your comments and see all that stuff. And it's so flexible, like anybody can use it. It could be an artist, photographers, a business owner, someone who wants to start a merch store. You can do all of those things on Squarespace and they make it so ridiculously easy and have all the tools you need to really get it done. Squarespace is kind enough as well to give you guys a discount and I'll put a link down in the description and right below me so you guys can go over to Squarespace and start making that beautiful crispy website of your dreams. Big thank you to them for sponsoring this video and big thanks to you guys for watching. All is said and done, there's been a lot of traveling, a lot of fishing, a lot of fish not caught, and some really, really great fish have been caught so far, and we're just only like one-fourth, maybe like close to halfway through our amazing Crypto Australia here. I couldn't thank Joel enough and his family for putting Chelsea and myself up for a while and taking us out to catch some big giant jewies and camping along the lake for Murray Cod. It was, it was really just a memorable experience. Super thankful for Joel kind of showing me how it's done and that we got to go out there and whack one even when the conditions were blowing super hard and it was 2 a.m. and it was about 40 degrees. It was just an incredible experience to put in all that work for it to actually come through and work out. I appreciate it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and it'll keep you up to date whenever I post a video and you do not want to miss a video from this Australia series. I'll tell you that. Lots of juicy good stuff coming up, but I'm tired, man. It's time to get some rest, but I appreciate the heck out of you guys. Until next video, see ya.